I'm a little stuck. So if you could help me get out of the stuckness, that would be great. I've been, for since I've been working with this material, been trying to vibrate correctly to bring in my lover and have done the processes and visualized and pretended. What are you, really picky or something? Very picky, yeah. <laughs> How, oh, you're good. <laughs> Yes, that, yeah, that, yeah. Well, the reason we ask that is because when the universe yields to you the best thing that it can yield to you given your vibration, and then you say, no universe, this isn't right. You are defying the thing that we just said you have to do. Remember we said, you have to make peace with where you are. And we wanted to begin with you because we think that this is the easiest way to hear this of maybe all of the topics that we could talk about. So did you hear us say, make peace with where you are. So let's say the universe has matched you up, not with your ideal of the perfect relationship, but with what you are right now, a vibrational match to. Now, isn't that always the way that it is? Mm -hmm. In other words, what you're offering vibrationally is all you have access to. So if the universe keeps yielding to you something different than what you want, what does that mean? Does it mean the universe is making a mistake? No, it means your vibration doesn't match your ideal. And the reason this keeps happening to you is because you keep giving more attention to what you're getting and not enough attention to what you're wanting. Now what we want, if you will try what we're going to give you here for two weeks, this problem will be solved. So you're ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> so the universe yields to you someone that as you check them out is not the match to the list that you've made. But within that person, it is our promise to you because we can feel the clarity of the vibration of you about that subject. You're about 85, 86, 87% in alignment with your ideal. So what the universe is yielding to you are potential partners that are about 85 to 87% of what you want. But what's happening to you is you're focusing upon the 13 to 15% of them that's wrong. And so as you focus upon the part of them that's wrong, you hold that part active in your vibration. So the universe keeps saying to you, we're giving you all that you have access to, not all that you're asking for, but all that you're letting in right now. And the reason you're not letting more of it in is because you're doing such a good job of observing what's coming in and not such a good job of remembering what you want to come in. So all you would have to do is begin with the next person that you spend any time with, making a list of their positive aspects, Practice it before you see them, practice it while you're seeing them, practice it after you've seen them. Activate within you that 85 to 87% that the universe got just right. So that you are deactivating the part of it that isn't just right. And in doing so, you clean up your vibration a little bit. So the next one who comes is that much closer. And the next one who comes is that much closer. And to each of them, you don't leave them wounded as you cast them aside. <laughs> Instead, each of them, because you've done such a wonderful job of activating the very best that you see in them, you leave them in a vibrational place that they're gonna turn around and be attracted right into an environment or a relationship with somebody else that's right there ready for who they are, you see. Now we want to give you one more really important thing about this. We, we hear, we can feel that you're getting this. This is the next important thing. And we talked about this just a little, little bit briefly just now. There is a tendency to feel different about creating the perfect relationship than you do about creating the perfect one week vacation. Yeah. Because creating the perfect one week vacation, no matter how you got it, it'll be over in a week. But with relationships, you tend to say, I have to create this perfect relationship and it not only has to match everything that I now want, but since it's one of those death do us part things, <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> then I've got to figure out from where I am now, 
with only as much as experience as I've lived so far, I've got to figure out everything that I will ever, ever want and everything that I will ever, ever be forevermore. And we say, give it up. <laughs> we think the perfect marriage vows would go something like, I like you pretty good, let's see how it goes. <laughs> So take the pressure off yourself by acknowledging that you are an evolving being. And of course you want to factor into your intentions. I want a partner who's evolving too, and a partner who has the potential, a partner who at the core is much in vibrational resonance with me, a partner who has discovered the connection with source and all of that. In other words, there are all kinds of things that you can intend, but please make a decision that you're just going to be flexible and take that pressure off that says this has got to be forevermore. Just have a relationship one week vacation at a time. And before you know it, you will have attracted into your experience someone that you want to check the box. I want to stay on board for another week. <laughs> and then you just keep renewing those vows. Want to go around again? Yeah. Why not? Which answers the next part of the question is why have I never been able to keep anybody past three months? <laughs> and it's usually them telling me, see you later. Because I think, wow, I've attracted in this great person. And then they're saying, but, if, me. but if you were focused upon the great aspects of that person uh -huh. so that you were activating the best of them and the best of them was meeting the best of you, they would never want to leave. What mm -hmm. makes people want to leave is you're wanting to get it so right that you get fixated on the parts that aren't good. And then you activate the parts of them that you don't like that they don't like either. And then they find themselves just not feeling good about life when they're with you, not because there is not the potential for it, but because you have highlighted something in them that they thought they'd left behind or that they want to leave behind you see oh. there are no two perfect people who are going to come together and show each other only the perfect things there's that doesn't exist anywhere in the universe what there exists are multifaceted beings who have many potential activation points and the relationship that ensues between them depends upon what each of them decides to be activated what goes wrong with most relationships is this one gives that one complete responsibility for what's activated over here you don't bring me flowers anymore. You don't love me the way you used to. And this one usually is giving this one complete responsibility for how this one feels. When you decide that you're responsible about how you feel, now most of that trouble dissolves in the ethers immediately because now you have control of the way you feel. And when you have control of the way you feel, then you activate the very best in the other. Now we're going to give you something here that you don't want to hear, but we really want you to hear it anyway. Wait, that defies law. <laughs> we're going to give you something that you really want to hear that you're not ready to hear. Okay. Wait, that's a waste of time. <laughs> but I could hear it later on the CD. <laughs> well, we're going to tell you something that we know. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, give it to me. <laughs> there are thousands of potential partners for you who would be equal in the satisfaction value. You're not looking for the one and only. And where the perfect partner lies is in your vibrational range between where you are and where you want to be on the subject. In other words, you've got to create the perfect partner in you and the universe will match it. So what we're really saying is pick somebody and make peace with it and line up with it and live happily ever after. And don't look back and second guess it. Don't say, well, I've noticed something that I don't like instead say I've noticed all these things that I do like and as I fixate on them the best of me comes out and when the best of me comes out the best of you comes out and when the best of us are here we're having a really good time and who cares who else could have been in the party who cares 
It's sort of like somebody going to a fabulous restaurant and having a delicious meal and then wishing they were at some other restaurant having some other delicious meal. And we say, if you're having a delicious meal, what difference does it make? How many other delicious meals are there if you're having a delicious meal, you see? Mm -hmm. And so there's something that's sort of stuck in the craw of so many of you that says, I've got to find the best one and only partner. And we say, find somebody and make them the best partner by activating the best part of them in you. Wow. Thank you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much.